Panoply is a creative studio. We do two simple things. We aim to create beautiful work with purpose. Well, I like to compare us to like a SEAL team. A small team with a lot of firepower and being able to do some serious damage, but still being agile and not having to feed the machine as much. Our workflow has gone from being kind of scattered in the beginning, using multiple different softwares to kind of getting down to two or three tools that we use. Between Nuke and Houdini, we kind of make everything happen there and it just makes it more seamless. Having all of our artists on the same network working on a remote basis has mean there's less need for data transfer. We've got the added security of literally all of the projects remaining in one location. And we've worked with people as far as, I think it's the Canary Islands even this year. As, as long as they've got a fast internet connection, that's all we need. Um, obviously they need to be a great artist as well too. Running Houdini is quite resource intensive and especially when it comes to, if I can, may geek out a little bit, the PDG stuff, uh, which is like the, the dependencies and dependency graphs that we can now scale across our entire network of computers running caches and simulations on across the network. And Escape has been able to kind of build the machines that we've been looking for because we've been very specific. So when Escape approached us about the A5000 cards, once I got over the initial shock that this actually was possible for us to be able to get these sort of cards, it was a no-brainer just to sort of get them on board. Stuff that we would have dreamt on 10 years ago with like having displacements and refractions and all this volumetrics and particles, that's just like, you can do it now. It's not even that crazy anymore. It's gone from being a 20 to 30 frames per second experience to a consistent 30 frames stream, which makes the, the lag when working there totally indecipherable to, for having a one-to-one -one local machine. Having that RAM allows us to split each workstation into multiple nodes and squeeze every ounce of power out of it.